The St. Cloud All City Marching Band now has a new name. Kind of ties in with our winter groups. We have Aurora Drumline and Eclipse Winter Guard. So we have kind of that celestial names. This year, look for the Solar Sound Marching Band. Director Gary's Walk says this marching band is regional, and the name change reflects that. We've had students from 11 different communities, uh, as far away as Brainerd, Little Falls, Royalton, Bolus. The marching band students agree. It really helps give people the idea that we aren't affiliated with the city or the schools like other marching bands are. For me, it's like getting more people involved and just opening it up to a wider community. Solar Sound is fighting smaller numbers this year. Zwak says this is a trend with all marching bands, but Solar Sound isn't letting it get to them. This year we're going to be at Sartell on the 13th, Foley, St. Cloud, and of course the St. Joe 4th of July Parade. I'm happy that we're still doing this season. We did debate not competing, not doing it all this year. But it does make some sense to do non-competitive parades to still get the word out there, tell people we're still here, we're still striving for success. We had a smaller band last year too, but it's just like whoever you get, it's really just having fun with them and being the best that you can make whoever shows up. The reduced schedule for Solar Sound was a way to help cut costs to keep it affordable for students. Looking at more fun show, entertaining, and not worrying about the trophies and that type of stuff. Every year they're different, so this year is a completely different concept than what we've done in the past years, where we've had kind of like a creepy and energetic, and then now we have a kind of light, fluffy winter. I'm most looking forward to playing Let It Go as one of our short shows. Zwak says he's excited for this year and for the future of Solar Sound. Really excited about the potential that we have in the future too. We have a building program, 6th and 7th graders, that's called the Blue Jackets. Josh Wackerman, WJON.